Hey, Dogmeat. You ready for some more Fallout 4 adventuring? Hey. All right, let's go, boy. Time to check out Andrew Station. Already cleared out the area full of raiders right around it, but I haven't actually gone down here yet. I'm sure there's even more raiders. Who's there? What the? God, my sneak skill is terrible. Uh oh. Ew! Ah, that dog is nasty looking. Something else knows we're here. Drop dead already. Seems like there's four beneath us. And these raiders seem to do a lot of damage. I actually need to be pretty careful here. They're pretty easy to kill, but they do hurt me a lot. Oops. Sort by value. Hopefully some of the better stuff will rise to the top. Yeah, there we go. Got a bunch of roasted Mirelurk meat. Yet another Jangles the Moon Monkey. Was Jangles the only Moon Monkey? Were there no other Moon Monkeys? I'm not sure there's Sweet. any point in going in here. I can use one of these police bots. I guess I'll turn you into... Mm, fire Brigadier? We got a lot of fires here. Look at this one right here. This is very unsafe. Yep. Enclosed. Smoke is going to suffocate people. You got to put this out, Protectron. The object you are holding appears to be a fire hazard. Please. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I think you got to worry about that fire, not the one in my hands. Please remain calm. If you can loot the fusion cells out of it. Nah. You can keep him. Alright, let's go down. <laughs> Run! Holy shit! <laughs> I saw one and then I saw like three more. I'm like, nope. I can't disarm those in time. Yeah, they got a lot of traps down here. What happened? I didn't think that grenade was close enough for whatever that was. Was that even a grenade? Oh, you're okay, boy. What, boy? What? Please remain calm if you are injured. I'm calm, Protectron. Do you think you could do some protectoring?
Oh, is that a turret? <gasps> what? Oh, that's an angry bark. Yeah, I'm angry at him too. Look at that machine gun turret. What a dick. Whoa. <gasps> oh, shit. Ah, my health. I guess it doesn't like the fact that I took out one of its robotic brethren. Don't shoot dog meat. Damn bucket of bolts. You okay, boy? Heads up. Heads up. Eh, do I want to hack this? Not really. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I got lucky on the first one. Turn them off, please. Thank you. I hate the lights. Dog meat. Look alive. I have too much junk. Come Over here, boy. Here. Something else weighing me down. What is it? Do I have weapons? Yeah, I've got a couple. Also, I don't need this many artillery smoke grenades. I only need a couple because I'm almost never going to actually use these. I'll just keep two on me. Pipe wrench, pole cue. Yeah, there we go. That's better. I still, I'm still really heavy though. I'm running only like 50 pounds underweight, which is surprising. I'm not really entirely sure what's so heavy. I guess maybe my weapons overall are pretty heavy. I'll figure it out at some point. Don't feel like doing it yet. Plastic spoon. I'm a winner. Secrets. Got it. Ah! <gasps> Copyrighted music. Be quiet. Why was there a spatula inside of a trash can in a public place? Just think about that. Think about it. It's kind of weird. Oh, it's a desktop picture frame. Of a kitty cat. You can get a full-size picture of that. I've got one of them up in the house back at Sanctuary, but this one's tiny. Dozen donuts for only... $42? For a dozen donuts? Jesus Christ. Must be inflation. I actually don't know what I just picked up. It was cryogenic something. Alright, I think that's it for this place, actually. Mm, actually, no, I... No, I didn't go back here.
nice. Table knife. Is that like all that's inside of those boxes? Just cutlery? Some lame ass presents for kids. What kind of a kid would go, oh yay, I got a plastic fork. Oh boy. It's a lot of them. Another hallway of death. This is bullshit. You're bullshit. Look alive. Something else is weighing me down once again. Cryogenic grenade, that's what I picked up. Oh, so bottle cap mines do three times the damage of fragmentation mines. Well, in that case, I'm just going to ditch the fragmentation mines. Some of the Molotov cocktails just kind of suck. I'm just going to dump them. Nuclear grenade is... Ooh, that's extremely good. Way better than a fragmentation grenade. Plasma mine's really nice. Pulse mine's okay. All right, more raiders. Lights what off. Oh, there's a lot of raiders. You know what? Let's test out one of these new grenades, huh? Maybe not the cryogenic grenade. That's... Wait, I thought the cryogenic grenade was super good. But now it suddenly seems like it's not nearly as good as I thought. What? Uh, I'm confused, but whatever. Anyway, let's use mm, let's just use a fragmentation grenade. Have fun with that. I Goodbye. Going crazy. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I think that was actually really effective. Surprise! More cutlery. That's it. I think it's time we did some bacon. Grilled red stag, some mutt chops. Looks like that's it. Oh, some vegetable soup. Oh, by the way, if I remember right, um, an ingredient that you can often run out of is glue and stuff like that. Like, ad adhesive, I think, is the, the base ingredient, I think. And I think somebody said, I've not tested this myself, but I believe somebody said that if you make vegetable starch, yeah, see? Adhesive 5. So vegetable starch will actually break down into 5 adhesive. And it's pretty easy to make. I don't think I really have any corn going on, which is, I guess, probably why I can't make it. But... You know, once you get some corn planted, you can get that pretty easily. Mute fruit, tato, super common. Purified water would be probably the rarest thing. So yeah, if you're having trouble with adhesives, you might want to look into that. Did 
Jesus, how deep does this place go? You know, the lighting in this game is, is really pretty impressive sometimes. Look at that. Just really soft and smooth. It's cool. Not exactly the most dynamic lighting. This game definitely doesn't have amazing dynamic lighting, but the static lighting like this is surprising. Ouch. You okay, dog meat? Psst. Hold. Let's go. Nothing. At least it sure as hell looks that way. Tarberry? What the heck is a tarberry? Huh? Oh, you seem to be a boss given the skull and crossbones. Or are you? Oh no, you're just a level 30, that's why it's got that. You're actually a normal enemy that can die in one hit to the head. As you're about to see right now. Oh, you didn't die. It's okay, this one will kill you. Or miss. Get him, dog meat. That's why these raiders are doing so much damage. They're like... 12 levels above me. You got him, dog meat. There you go. Wait, I saw that duct tape. Come back here. Uh, uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Shit. Dog meat, help. Hey, dog meat. Move here. Here. Head over there. Dog meat, I need you. I need your body to push me, please. Fuck. I can't crouch. Sprinting doesn't do anything. Jump. Shit. Alright, let's try to get this, the duct tape this time without getting stuck. In perpetuity. Alright, we're good. Wait, don't... Did, did I seriously just get stuck again? Oh my god, I got stuck for a second. Jesus Christ, there's something wrong with this box here. I thought you had to like stand on top of it to get stuck, but you can just touch the edge and it starts to suck you in. Like a black hole. 20 pound dumbbell. Well, that weighs like 20 pounds. Please take a dog meat. How long does this place go on for? It's massive. It's a labyrinth. Ooh. Incorrect code. Incorrect code. I, I didn't even enter a code. Busted. Yeah, accessible. Oh, uh, maybe there's a quest for this place. Look, there's even a camera. Hey! 
Ooh. Chancer. You sure you saw something? Let's actually try out our new laser rifle. Dogmeat, you're gonna ruin it for all of us. Oh, you cute little dog. Hold on. Oh, I missed. Fuck. Oh, this cute little lip. You know what? Let's do this. And let's do a crit. Boom! One hit, one kill. Wow. Dog meat. Oh, you're a good boy. Yeah, so that laser, that laser rifle is gonna be good for headshots and doing crits on, just because it does so much damage at one time. It does it slowly and it takes up a lot of ammo, but a lot of damage in one shot is exactly what you want for crits. Okay, Chancer, what do you have? Marksman's tune pipe or revolver rifle. Blah, blah, blah. Huh. Nothing really too special. Just some fairly heavily modified weapons, but nothing crazy. Nothing with a star next to it. Ha! <laughs> oh, look at this. They had, like, open mic night here or something. And this person got killed by the crowd throwing tatoes at them. I guess they were really bad. <laughs> That's funny. Poor person. Hey. Got some other things to throw in your inventory, aside from junk. Knuckles, that. Oh, dog meat's full. Crap. There's gotta be something light enough you can take. No? Dog meat's completely full. Okay, I need to take only stuff that's really good, so I'm going to stop taking junk now. I, th I think whiskey's worth it. I'm pretty sure that's a good crafting ingredient. Ooh, how do I get in there? Mmm, it's a connection here. Found you. <laughs> it's not very secret. Just this big-ass wire going behind there. Oh, looks like they had like a whiskey operation going on in here. Or like a moonshine operation, I mean. snub -nosed pistol. Any drugs I could make? Get some XP from it? Yeah. Pax Syringe? She has to make the target non-violent for 30 seconds. I am never gonna use that. Let's make it. I don't even use the Syringer rifle. I've got it stored back home. <gasps> More utensils? Yay! Table knife. I'll take it. My favorite. Joe Spucky's basement key. Battered Fedoras, I'll take him. Uh oh. That unlocks this. Leads to the sandwich shop. 
Oh, so there's multiple ways to enter this place, either from just the, like, subway entrance or from the sandwich shop, just like a hatch. So where the heck am I now? It's not actually marked on the map. Weird. It's not marked on the map, but it's actually named as a sandwich shop. Oh. Raiders. Yeah, it's a really small place. What are those things? Are those like meatballs or something? Like living meatballs. What is it? Now, okay, I don't get it. Is it like a territory thing? Because they don't shoot me here, and they know I'm here. Right, and their names... Well, their names are red, as if they're enemies. And they're raiders, so they're obviously enemies, but they're not shooting, even though they know I'm here. But if I get close, they are going to shoot, right? Beat it. I'm warning you, back off. Yeah. Keep moving. I don't think I will. Think you can hide? Oh, this is back here where I jumped off the bridge. Come on out. I'll make it nice. <laughs> that little squeak. You can trust me. Need some cover fire on. over here. Do some healing. Alright, so I am very close to being full. Dog meat is completely full. We need to go back and dump our stuff. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Alright, everything is stored, and I think what I want to do now is go check out the Parsons State Insane Asylum. There was somebody at Greentop Nursery that told me about this place. So let's go teleport there, and then make our way over to the asylum. Oh, I also want to see if I can create a radio recruitment beacon here at the nursery, because I remember last time I was here I didn't have the resources to do that, which is why there's still only two people here. So let's see if now I have the resources to do that. I think it's under power, miscellaneous... Yeah, here we go. And I do. Yep. In fact, I could make two of these beacons. I think it was the copper that I didn't have at the time, because that's copper is relatively rare. Um... Oh wait, no, that's right. I had the resources to make the beacon. I didn't have the resources to make the generator to power it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so more people are going to come, which means they're going to need some other resources as well. For example, there's only two beds, so as soon as a single another person comes, they're going to be unhappy with the number of beds. Let's just preemptively fix that. Put down a little bit more water. And a little bit more beds. See if there's room inside to put beds. Yeah, got some room. Some quick and dirty beds. There you go. Have fun. Goodbye. Oh, you know what? This place needs more defense, too. Let's throw down a couple turrets. Alright, good enough. Now to the insane asylum.
Hey. Dog meat. You're adorable. Over here. Move here. Here. <laughs> Looks like this is another farm. Oh, who's that? Super Mutant Skirmisher. Leveled up just from discovering this place. Alright, I already know what I want to put my points into, I think. See, I wanted to keep putting points into intelligence. To be able to get scrapper and science. And, okay, so I guess I'm not entirely sure what I want to put points into. I kind of want to do that, get scrapper and science, but I also kind of want to focus on stealth stuff. Like ninja, which makes me do more sneak attack damage. And if I start focusing on getting more sneak attack damage, then it becomes very important to also focus on uh, ninja sneak. Because that makes it harder to detect while sneaking. So obviously if you're going to do more damage when you're undetected, you're going to want to make it harder to be detected. So I either want to focus on those two, or science, or... Oh, actually, I can pick Master, master Locks. Let's do that. Then I'll focus on something else. Oh my god, I think... Hold on. What did that say? So level 18 to pick Master Locks, which is what I just did. And the next level... The next level's 41 to get... Uh, to get your bobby pins never break during lock picking. Oh, that's... So, I'm actually already to the point where I can pick the best locks then. Master Locks are the best. Yeah, the next one just makes us your bobby pins never break, but that's not a problem for me. I'm not even close to running out of bobby pins. I've got like 60 or something, so I guess I'm just never going to put another point into that. being a sniper so much. It's so freaking cool. Doesn't work great in enclosed spaces, but god is it cool. Look at Cola Quantum. I think the place is cleared out. Just touch it and it all falls. <gasps> corn! Yes! I should plant some corn. I will do that. more distance and a better vantage point before I start shooting. So I'm just going to sneak around, collect stuff. Floating corn, cool. Oh, there we go. The corn just awoke. Night vision calibrated powerful pipe something. It's a really modified weapon. 
Alright, that's it for the place. Let's get a better vantage point. Where are they? Legendary Super Mutant Enforcer. Let's be careful here. Oh, they see me. Oh, hi. Alright, you know what I think this calls for? I think this calls for pumping this thing up. Get a headshot and get a critical. Nope, just gonna miss them all. Okay, cool. Well, I'll try to do this manually then. Did I get him? Or did they just fall down? Oh, I actually got him. You okay, boy? Hey. Wait there. Come on. A radiated tire iron. <laughs> cool. Does 50 points additional radiation damage. Holy shit! That's a lot of radiation damage. Well, if I use melee weapons at all, I'd probably be really excited about that. I wonder if it constantly gives you radiation by wielding it, though, because it is irradiated. Cuddling in death. I feel like half the skeletons in the wasteland are just surrounded by either beer bottles or cigarettes. <gasps> no! Oh! Eh, they're still kind of cuddling. Okay, so that is the asylum. Looks awfully large. That's really large, actually. I'm guessing it's like three or four floors. It's gonna be fun to explore it. Take a look around, though. See if anything catches my eye. Are we almost at the edge of the map? We're close to the edge of the map. Up there on the left is the bunker that we've already been to. Over there. It's so like a factory stack. Alright, how do I get to the other side without swimming through tons of irradiated water? I guess I could go from here. Screw it. Eh, it's not too bad. You come and dog me? Come on, boy. Come on. Oh, <gasps> are they doing the doggy paddle? Dog me! Head over there. Go there. There. Move out. Over there. Get into position. Right here, boy. You're so cute. Ooh. What 
is that? That's not a factory stack. That's like a... Almost looks like a castle tower or something. It's weird. Except there's no castle. Lynn Woods. It's gotta be people here. Meat. Fire. Is there no one here? Settler. Oh, a dead settler. Shit, maybe... Maybe there were people here, but they're not anymore. Poor settlers. I wish I'd known they were in trouble or it would have helped them. Perfect. Permanently unlock new decoration items and workshop settlements. Oh! Sweet! I wonder what I just unlocked. Oh, I want to know, I want to know. What if there's more dog-related items? I... There are people here. Make sure I've checked every nook and cranny here. I have not. And this is a master lock, which means I wouldn't have been able to unlock this unless I just got the skill that I just got. Also, I just want to take a second to observe the fact that I have 69 bobby pins. Got it. Eh, I guess I'll take him. They came from a master locked chest, I feel like I should. Well, this place is trapped. Grenade bouquet. <laughs> Someone up here. Wait, it says there's. There now. What do you think? I don't know. Says there's four of them down below, actually. Yeah. Huh? Well, this is the perfect sniper's vantage point. Linwood's chest key. Back it in, boys. There's nothing out there. Maybe let's leave that off. Holy shit, that's a death claw. Dog meat, I hope you're up here with me. Alpha is an alpha death claw. Holy shit, there's two of them. You know what? I'm gonna turn this back on. There is danger. Do I have grenades that I can just like toss down on the death claws? Cause I want the raiders to take as much out of the death claws as possible, but there's no way they're gonna defeat them, so I need to help if I want to kill the death claws, and I do. Mm. 
Oh, you know what? Artillery. Do you think the artillery can actually reach here? Fuck, I don't know, but I'm gonna try. Let's do it. Alright. Come on, artillery. Don't let me down. Let's listen in and see if they say anything. They're not gonna say anything. Oh no, they did just say something. They said they're... We're out of their range. Shit. Well. Let's use some more traditional explosives. Fragmentation grenades. Got you. Come on, don't go away. You... I've almost got you. Oh, they're out of rent. No, wait, there's one. Yes, come back, come back. That thing's driving me crazy. Gotcha. I don't know if that was the alpha one, though. Where's the other one? I don't see it. They're still alive, I'm impressed. <laughs> Jesus, my sniper shot to the head literally dismembered every part of her body. Or like every ma every major part. Oh, adorable dog meat. It's back! Okay, so I took out the alpha one. <laughs> I made it trip. Yeah. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Let's go grab the Deathclaw meat. And the Alpha Death Call, I wonder if that would have anything extra special. Nope. That was so cool to see that fight happening beneath me. Lightweight reinforced combat armor or something or other. Might be better than what I've got. Let's take a look at it, actually. Uh, it is, actually. But hold on, that's right arm. Mm, what's my current right arm? It's probably one with stats. Yeah, it's the lucky leather one. Damn. I still think the luck is probably worth way more than just having a bit more protection. It probably is. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with it. Metal left leg. Hold on, what's my left leg? Ah, oh, it's the safe crackers one. I'm sorry, I like those stats too much. So wait a minute, if these are settlers, does that mean I can actually build a settlement here? I'm holding down V to try to open up the settlement thing. Nope. Alright, to the asylum. Yeah, 
this place is huge. Let's survey it. Hmm. What's that? Trying to vats, but they're too far away to do it. Guessing they're enemies. Probably raiders. It's large. Very, very, very large. Looks like a greenhouse or something. And it is occupied, as we just saw. I want to scout it out some more. Where did those two go? Oh, there they are. Hmm. Ah, they're mercenaries. Interesting. Well, well, well. That place is so big that I'm pretty sure it's going to take me like at least a half hour to explore it. So I think I'm going to save it for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, me and Dogmeat are going to go investigate the asylum. Aren't we, boy? Hold. Here. Stay there. <laughs>